Hi everyone, welcome back to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. My name is Lucy and if you're new here, welcome to my channel and I hope you stick around. So it has been a while since I've done a reading vlog and this feels like a little bit strange because I feel like I haven't properly filmed in a long, long time. But I do really want to kick off this reading vlog because it's a very special one and that is, it's a Colleen Hoover reading vlog. I mean, I feel like I needed to get to Colleen Hoover's works eventually, like being on booktube as long as I have. I've been on booktube like nine years, which is crazy, but Colleen Hoover has been around for a long time in terms of like, the books have always had a following. And obviously with BookTok, it's just shut up and she's become so, so popular. It Ends With Us is probably her most popular one because of BookTok. I'm going to try reading this and see what I think. Usually with books that have a lot of hype around them, I just generally try not to read because I find that the hype really affects my enjoyment of the book. And I also want to read this reading vlog, Verity, which is on my Kindle and I've got it on my phone app as well. So I'm hoping to kind of read the physical version of It Ends With Us and then read Verity digitally. So I'm sure you've all read this book, but for those of you like me who are behind the times, this book is about Lily, who has not had the most easy of upbringings. And she ends up graduating from college, moving to Boston and starts her own business. And it says, when she feels a spark with a gorgeous neurosurgeon called Ryle Kincaid, everything in Lily's life suddenly seems almost too good to be true. Ryle is assertive, stubborn, stubborn, and maybe even a little arrogant, but he's also sensitive, brilliant, and has a total soft spot for Lily. But Ryle's complete aversion to relationships is disturbing. As questions about her new relationship overwhelm her, so do thoughts of Atlas Corrigan, her first love and linked to the past she left behind. When Atlas suddenly reappears, everything Lily has built with Ryle is threatened. So, a bit of a love triangle vibe going on there. We're all here for some angsty romance, right? And I'm gonna try and read this over the weekend and try to get onto Verity as soon as I can because I wanna know, does Colleen Hoover live up to the hype? Hi everyone, so just checking in, it's a bit later on on Friday evening, the first day of this reading vlog, and I've just read the first chapter of It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I really, really just wanted to be like, don't see the hype about this book, like what's happening. The first chapter is like, one of the best paced chapters I think I have ever read in my life. So the first chapter's a bit insane. So basically we meet Lily who, has just basically been to her father's funeral. Her and her father have always had quite a tense relationship. Her father actually used to abuse her mother. She has to give the eulogy for his funeral and ends up giving quite a scathing eulogy, I guess. So she goes to this like rooftop to kind of take a moment to herself. And there on that rooftop, she meets Ryle, who is a neurosurgeon. And he's very much like, from the get-go, is obviously quite tormented. Um, he explicitly says to her like i don't have relationships i don't want children like anyone can do that i want to be special i want to be the best i can be so i'm already a bit annoyed by him but i know that he's supposed to be kind of an antagonist in a weird way i feel like there's going to be some drama between them unfolding and actually in this chapter twice it has been mentioned that lily lost her virginity to a homeless guy who was like living on this kind of like abandoned house at the end of her street and his name's atlas so i'm like hmm what's the story there and how is he going to come back into lily's life but so far like i'm actually annoyed to say i'm really hooked by this already what a great first chapter so if you've never read this book and you're kind of just like me kind of not bought into the hype yet about colleen hoover you've never read a book before try the first chapter of it ends with us because my god i have feels already. So hi everyone, it's Saturday morning, well, Saturday afternoon technically, and I've had quite a busy morning, like getting up, getting ready, doing the food shop, and now I'm actually off to Yalk, which is the YA literature convention here in the UK. So I'm actually going to Yalk to do a panel where I'm gonna be in the agents arena giving advice on how to get into publishing. So that's gonna be really fun. But I'm also just looking forward to having a little walk around and seeing all the stalls. It's actually the first Yalk since 
it started in 2014 that I'm not working it. So I'm just gonna like enjoy and buy a load of books. Like I'm so excited about that. Anyway, I have read a bit more of It Ends With Us and so far, so great. I am enjoying it so, so much. So I'm gonna bring it with me today because after Yalt, I'm actually going straight from there to my friend's Leaving London drinks and it's quite a journey to get there so I'm hoping to do some reading on the train and I'm really looking forward to the panel as well I'm a little bit nervous I'm actually chairing the panel as well as being on it so added pressure but hopefully it will all go really well hi everyone so it's the day after and I have literally had the laziest day I've not been feeling too great so like literally I'm just sat here in a bathrobe with my very puffy red face because i've been in the bath and just had a really relaxing afternoon and it's now actually like half seven ish and i've been reading it ends with us all day and i'm halfway through the book now i'm on page 153 and oh my god this book is so addictive like i thought you know what like it's going to be overhyped it has to be overhyped I don't think it's overhyped. Like, this book is genuinely really, really good, and I am shocked. And the story takes place between the modern day, where Lily is dating this guy called Ryle, who is quite, um, you know, she's very, like, compelled to him, and they're both drawn to each other, but he, from the offset, has said, listen, I don't do relationships. Like, I am a one-night stand type of guy. But they just can't seem to stay apart from each other. And she gets like kind of brought in to his family as well. She becomes really good friends with his sister. And at the moment, that kind of relationship is all playing out. But the other side of the story is told through letters. And it's basically like diary entries that Lily as a teenager, when she's like 15, turning 16, she is basically telling the story of how she met her first love called Atlas and atlas is actually homeless so like he moves into this derelict house across from her and he's just trying to survive he's also escaped quite a awful like family situation and lily just is drawn to him and they have this incredible love story and like that kind of juxtaposition of the kind of past chapters so through the the kind of diary entries i'm loving so much like the whole story with atlas is amazing and he has just come back into lily's life in the present day but oh my gosh i'm just hooked and i feel like there's going to be like some really big twists along the way this reading vlog is going to be spoiler but i will let you guys know before i kind of reveal any spoilers obviously so you can skip ahead if you would like to so i'm really excited to finish this one off very very soon and hopefully I'll be getting onto Verity in the next few days. But so far, so good with It Ends With Us. It is Monday evening and I've just gotten back from work and you'll see my tripod up there because I've just finished filming a TikTok because I've reached a part of this book and I, I, I just needed to film a TikTok about it. You know, like, what can I say? You know you're a content creator when you feel the urge. So I'm now 243 pages through It Ends With Us and oh my god this book is insanely addictive. I've not read a book like this in a long time where when I'm reading I just can't stop reading. Like it's impossible to stop reading. And if you're watching this vlog and you don't want spoilers skip ahead now for about like 30 seconds and you'll miss the spoilers. I must say, I guess the spoiler that Ryle had a past where obviously we are told about this brother he has and I knew that Ryle would have killed him in some way and I knew that like that was what was kind of hinted at in the first chapter. That didn't surprise me. I guess it's just more the interesting kind of like commentary on how that's affected him as a person and i hate ryle so much are you supposed to hate ryle i don't know but why is she with him like honestly all the sexy scenes are just making me want to vom a bit anyway that's the end of that spoiler section there um i also just quickly want to say how incredible i'm finding the chapters between you know looking at lily's past with atlas compared to her kind of present with ryle how brilliant those chapters are, like the letters to Ellen and everything and kind of like the diary entries. 
I'm really impressed by Colleen Hoover's writing style there because you really do get a sense of like her being younger in those diary entries and it kind of paints such a good picture you know just comparing her to how she is in the present day so i am obsessed with this book the one thing i perhaps didn't like about the plot this is going to be a spoiler so skip ahead a few seconds if you don't want to hear it them getting married like come on girl what are you doing like you've known him six months essentially he's already hit you once like no no like I'm sure this is just going to bring on a lot of extra character development but I am not happy like this is idiotic so hi everyone it's actually been a few days since I've checked in with you in the meantime I finished it ends with us now I finished this just before going to sleep like two nights ago and finishing this was a very emotional experience because like I think I've told you guys throughout this video just how taken aback by like surprise I've been throughout reading this book because it was not kind of what I imagined it would be but also I fully feel that it lived up to the hype like massively. So I really just want to do a quick mini review of this book before I talk about the second book of this reading vlog which is obviously Verity. The second half of this book got progressively more insane where I just couldn't stop reading because the action the emotional kind of angst to it all was just too much so lots of trigger warnings for this book because it does cover domestic abuse domestic violence and there is also kind of sexual violence as well i would say so if you just don't want to read about any of those topics then maybe stay away from this book but there is definitely a culmination scene of all this abuse and there is one final scene that kind of pushes Lily over the edge and she runs away and she runs to Atlas and that whole scene was horrifying. I found it really hard to read. Obviously you're supposed to but I found it really hard to read but at the same time I feel like the writing of those scenes and the way that they were done was amazing like Colleen Hoover obviously knows how to write and keeps the pace up and I think the emotional beats for me re were really there and the conclusion as well like this ending so so good but I found that the last chapter where Lily and Atlas kind of have their reunion I guess and reconcile and get together was so brief compared to like the rest of the book where it literally is like Atlas is such a huge part of her life and they're destined to be together. An epilogue. It literally is like five pages. So I was quite disappointed that we just weren't given that kind of fully fledged conclusion. But I think the main conclusion of the story is the fact that Lily left Ryle and she wanted a divorce and she had her baby as a single mother and you know, she knew what was right for her and she didn't want history to repeat itself. The most emotional part of this book for me is where it references the title. So I think um, when she makes the decision after her daughter is born to divorce Ryle, she literally says, it stops here with me and you, it ends with us. And like, just chills all over my body, chills. So I gave this book four out of five stars. I absolutely loved it. And I think the one thing that was like stopping me from giving this five full stars, I just don't think we saw enough kind of resolution at the end and I would have liked a little bit more development and I wanted to just be able to see the life that Atlas and Lily have with each other. So that brings me on to the next book, Verity. Now this is a very different t type of book compared to It Ends With Us. This is more of a thriller I've been told. So a little bit of a confession, I may have started this yesterday and I'm already 51 pages in. So I've already started this book and so far I am obsessed. So this follows a woman called Lowen and Lowen is an author and she's kind of like a struggling author I guess. The book starts on quite a graphic note because Lowen witnesses a brutal car accident on the streets of Manhattan. She gets covered in blood from this incident and she is standing next to a man and this man is like here let me get you cleaned up you know I can give you a spare shirt and whatever. And this man then turns out to be 
the same man who she is going into a meeting with at a big shop publisher. In that meeting, you find out that Lowen has been asked to be a kind of ghostwriter, so basically to finish off writing a very successful series of books by a very famous author called Verity Crawford. And the man that she met on the street is actually Verity's husband called Jeremy. And Verity is this hugely popular author, but she was in a car accident. And we don't know a lot about her state. So she goes to Jeremy and Verity's kind of massive mansion and she is tasked with looking through all of Verity's kind of notes on the series and book notes and everything in order to continue writing the series. I'm already obsessed. I love Colleen Hoover's writing style so much already. And I've got a confession to make because I was originally supposed to read this on my Kindle, but when I finished It Ends With Us, I was like, no, I need to buy physical copies of Clean Hoover's books. So I bought Verity and I also bought Ugly Love. So maybe that's one for another reading vlog very soon. Um, but I'm just loving this journey so far. <laughs> Saturday afternoon and honestly I have just been reading Verity pretty much all day. I am low key, not even low key, high key, just pure high key obsessed with this book. Now let me tell you what page I'm on. I'm finally on page 194 and my plan for the rest of the evening is just to read Verity. Like I think this is better than it ends with us. I am gripped, I'm hooked, I'm shocked, appalled. Now, Lowen already has this chemistry with her husband, Verity's husband, and that's like slowly building throughout the book. But we also know about a huge tragedy in their family's lives, which was their two twin daughters both independently died before Verity got into this car accident. Lowen's job at the minute is to go through Verity's office and kind of look for tips on how to complete the rest of the series, any outlines, etc. Instead, she stumbles on her autobiography. And I'm obsessed with how this story has been written because it's divided between Lowen's story and like Lowen's main plot of kind of discovering more about Verity, but then also Verity's first person point of view in the format of her autobiography, telling her story with Jeremy, how she met him, how infatuated they are, how obsessed she is with him. And then of course, Verity gets pregnant with the two twin girls and Verity's a psychopath, like she, hates these children that are growing inside her because Jeremy loves them more than her. And there are some graphic scenes. There was one scene I could not read. It is quite depraved and like you start to understand just how fragile maybe Verity's mind is to the fact that she really is that jealous of her unborn children taking her partner's love away from her. And then once these children are born, and Verity begins to love one of the twins more than the other one, when I think it can't shock me more, it shocks me more. Like, but I can't stop reading. I cannot stop reading. I know something is going on. Like, is all this Verity's fault? I'm trying to think of the big twist. Like, maybe Jeremy wrote the autobiography. I think Jeremy is not as innocent as this book is making out. But the goal is the home stretch. We are finishing Verity tonight. So I'll catch up with you guys later when Verity has been finished. Hi everyone, so I quickly wanted to give you an update as I finished Verity last night. And I think I kind of updated you guys just how disturbing like Verity's chapters were, her kind of autobiography, her point of view, and how Lowen is trying to get to the bottom really of Verity as a person and find out just what she is prepared to do in order to secure her husband's love. 
and i think what this book does is it's a really good examination of like kind of truth and duplicity i just want to say the ending was honestly the most outstanding twist i've read in a very long time i think the fact that there is like a double twist so there is a twist and then there's another twist which kind of flips the whole book in on itself you're really left wondering who is telling the truth and like where is the truth being twisted and i think the last line of this book sums it up so brilliantly no matter which way i look at it it's clear that verity was a master at manipulating the truth the only question that remains is which truth was she manipulating and like that question summarized the whole book what was she making up what was fiction what was fabricated and what wasn't and this book was absolutely phenomenal i gave it five stars i have never read a book like this and i'm just so grateful that i decided to do this reading experiment and read both of these books because i think i found a new favorite author like i am honestly hooked but i'm now the newest member of the colleen hoover fan club i think they're called the cohorts thank you for watching this vlog i really really hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed my reading experience trying to see if colleen hoover is indeed worth the hype i have to say seal of approval she is absolutely worth the hype and i really hope if you've not read her yet this vlog inspires you to read her thank you again for watching and i will see you very very soon in the next video guys bye